so briefly, I just want to describe ID Insight so you know what perspective we bring to this. So ID Insight is a nonprofit, client-oriented organization that helps development managers generate and use rigorous evidence to improve their programs. So what this means in practice is that we design and conduct rigorous impact evaluations to serve as a decision-making tool. So this means always being demand-driven from the implementer's perspective and very attentive to the priorities and constraints of the implementers. And it also means only doing an impact evaluation if we have a strong belief that it's going to guide a specific decision. So there's absolutely no publication agenda, and in most cases, if we think that publication is not necessary to guide policy or programmatic action, we don't pursue it, so that we can stay hyper-focused on the needs of the implementer. Uh, and over the last four years, we've conducted a number of experimental and quasi-experimental studies across East and Southern Africa, as well as India and Southeast Asia. So the main argument that I want to make, um, and before I make it, is just to tell you what lens we're approaching this with. The first is a cost-effectiveness lens. So we think that we should think about the future of impact evaluation the way we think about any other development intervention. That is, how can we make it as cost-effective <coughs> in improving social outcomes as possible? And the second is a context-specific lens. So we have a strong hypothesis, which is backed up by some evidence, that most development interventions are highly context-dependent. And that informs the way we think about evidence generation and use. Uh, 